What up, athletes? All right, so uh, today's actually going to be pretty easy. I'm just showing you a shortcut of a situation that you'll run into at times and how to handle it. Uh, so today's EQR is, it's pretty on the nose. Are you ready? Are there any shortcuts? Are there any shortcuts? And today you're going to learn about factoring shortcuts. So clearly yes is that answer. Uh, and specifically we're going to talk about the difference in squares. There's actually a uh, difference in squares. There's also a uh, one for adding squares, but we're really just talking about this one today. Uh, and this one is, so difference in squares. Difference is subtract. So if I have a square number minus a square number, what does that equal? Well, if I have a squared minus b squared, guess what? That actually facts out, factors out to a plus b times a minus b. So what does that mean? Well, let's look at this one. So I have x squared and 49, minus 49. So what is that going to factor out to be? Well, I'll tell you. What's the square root of x squared? x. What's the square root of 49? Well, it turns out that is a square number. Square root of 49 is 7. How do I know that? What's 7 times 7? 7 times 7 is 49. So what does that mean? That means I'm going to take x and 7. I'm going to say, all right, that's x plus 7 times x minus 7. And you may be thinking, Tim, are you sure? I'm glad you asked that question. Let's go ahead and factor it out. Let's draw our generic rectangle and our diamond. And let's see what happens. So what am I going to do here? I have, uh, I don't know. Uh, well, I guess I got to rewrite this. This is x squared plus 0x minus 49. Remember, sometimes we have to rewrite it because it's missing the b term because it should always be in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, that's our standard form. And I was missing the bx term, so it's 0x. So let's put things where they go now. I have x squared that goes here, negative 49 here, and 0x that goes here. And negative 49 times x squared is negative 49x squared. And it's really small, isn't it? Now let's look at that. What can I multiply to get a negative 49 up top that has to be 0? Well, we know one has to be negative and one has to be positive, and they both have x in it. What number times itself is 49? Well, that number is 7. Negative 7 times 7 is 49. x times x is x squared. And negative 7x plus 7x is 0x. So if I put this right here, negative 7x and positive 7x, let's factor out. What can I pull out of a negative 7x and a negative 49? I can pull out negative 7. What can I pull out of an x squared and a 7x? I can pull out an x. So I have x minus 7 there. Look, that's half the equation. And then what times x is 7x? 7 times x. What times x is x squared? x. Look at that, x plus 7, x minus 7. It's exactly what we should have got. Why don't you guys take a minute? Let me, let me spoiler alert. These are all set up to be perfect squares. That's the practice today, right? They're all set up for that. So why don't you look at this x squared minus 36. What's the square root of x squared? What's the square root of 36? Go ahead and do that. All right, what do we get? X, okay. And what's the square root of 36? Well, it's 6. So what am I going to do? Remember, I add them and then I subtract them. So I literally am going to write x plus 6 times x minus 6. That's how it works out. Okay. I'm actually going to do this one first and then we'll go up. So make sure you have that. Uh, I'm not going to use the generic rectangle. I just did that to show that it works. I'm not going to do it on this one, but I am going to do it on this one. And so I've got 9x squared minus 1. So first things first, how do we take the square root of 9x squared? And square root of 1. 
Well, same way you would. What's the square root of 9? It's 3. The square root of x squared is x, so it's just 3x, right? Because 3x times 3x is 9x squared. The square root of 1 just equals 1. So what am I going to end up with? 3x plus 1 times 3x minus 1. And just to show that it works, let's make our generic rectangle. So I want you to see at every step that this works. And so let's look at our original equation, 9x squared minus 1. So 9x squared minus 1, we can rewrite it in standard form as 9x squared plus 0x, because again, these are all missing the bx term. Minus 1. It's going to give me 9x squared up here. Minus 1 in my middle term is 0x. Multiply that together to get negative 9x squared up here. I know they have to be the same number because they have to, but opposite, because they have to add up to be 0. So however much positive, I have to add that much negative to get to 0. And what's the what number times itself equals 9? Well, 3. So I'm going to have negative 3x, positive 3x. Pull out a negative 1 here. Over here, I can pull a 3x out between 9x squared and 3x. 3x times what? 3x times 1 is 3x. And 3x times what is 9x squared? Well, 3x times 3x is 9x squared. So I'm left with, again, 3x plus 1 times 3x minus 1. All right. Kind of a short video today, right? Let's take a minute. Write that down. <laughs> when you're finished, I want you guys to start on this one. I'm going to pause it here in just a second. And I want you guys to solve it out. Find the square roots. Just write them out. What's the square root of 4x squared? What's the square root of 25? Another way of saving it is what number times itself is 4x squared, and what number times itself is 25? Okay, let's see how you did. Well, square root of 4x squared is 2x, square root of 25 is 5, so it's 2x plus 5 times 2x minus 5. All right, that's all we're teaching for today. Uh, I do want to warn you on the homework. Give you a minute, make sure you write that down. Homework you have extra time to work on, which is good, because you should probably have some questions. It won't be bad. Make sure, uh, if you can do the shortcut, you don't need to show a lot of work, right? Um, but some of these you will have to work out, so just keep that in mind. Uh, and... It'll be good from there. So, uh, D. D, I want to talk to you about a little bit. It is 5x squared minus 45. I don't want to remind you, before you work these out, always ask yourself, is there something these both have in common that I can pull out? Well, this one does, yeah. They each have a 5. If I pull it out 5, I'm left with x squared minus 9. So then, whatever my answer is going to be, it's going to be 5 times that. So I'll let you guys do it from there. All right. Uh, and in the bottom one on 51, you will need to draw graphs. I didn't really give you a great room to do it, so sorry about that. But draw your graphs. Make sure you graph. you got to have your graphing skills because we are not done with graphing. Uh, we're going to take all that we're learning, and we're going to actually translate it to graphing. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> Peace out.